Okay, question eight. First up, we have sectors. So, uh, the diagram shows a sector of a circle O, A, B. Uh, C is the midpoint of O, B. Angle A, O, B is theta radians. So we've also got a triangle inside the sector. Now we're asked, uh, given that the area of the triangle um, OAC is equal to one quarter of the area of the sector, show that theta is equal to two sine theta. Okay, so basically find the area of the triangle, find the area of the sector, and then do some magic. So, first up, we know that C is the midpoint of O, B. So let's let O, A equal O, B, uh, which is going to equal R, the radius of the circle. So that makes our notation a little bit nicer. Now in terms of the triangle then, we know that this length is r over 2. OC is r over 2. Now, using trigonometry, the area of uh, the triangle Remember, area of a triangle with trig, where you know an angle and the two sides coming out, area is AB sine theta all over 2. So, the area of this triangle is going to be r squared over 2 sine of theta all over 2 which is r squared sine theta all over 4. Now, for the area of the sector, so area of a sector is um, 1 half r squared theta. So r squared theta over 2. So that's the area of our sector here as well. Now, we know then that uh, given that the area of the triangle is equal to 1 quarter the area of the sector, so in other words, we know that r squared sine theta over 2 is sorry, so a four R squared sine theta over four is equal to one quarter of R squared theta over two. Okay, multiply both sides by four and we get r squared sine of theta is equal to r squared theta over 2. There's a common factor on both sides of r squared. Divide that away, sine of theta 
is equal to the derivative of 2. Therefore, by, uh, multiplying by 2 gives us that theta is equal to 2 sine of theta. Cool. Okay, then part B wants us to use Newton Raphson with theta 1 is equal to pi to find theta 3 as an approximation for theta. Give your answer correct to five decimal places. Okay, so at the moment, all that we know about theta is that theta is equal to uh, two sine theta. Now, when you're using the newton raphson method, you are trying to find solutions for a function equal to zero. So, if we take away theta, we get that 2 sine of theta minus theta is equal to zero. Now we can let f of theta equal two sine of theta minus theta. So now that we have a defined function, we are solving f of theta is equal to zero. Now we are given Newton Raphson. So let's have a look. There he is. Uh, so the Newton Raphson method for solving f of x is equal to zero is xn plus one is equal to xn minus uh, f of xn over f dashed of xn. So, theta n plus 1 is equal to uh, theta n theta n minus f of theta n over f dashed of theta n. So we know f of n, we need to find f dashed of n. So, if f of n, sorry, f of theta is equal to, to sine theta minus theta, and then Our derivative, f dashed, of theta is equal to um, 2 sine theta differentiates to 2 cos theta. And then theta becomes minus or minus theta becomes minus 1. So, the new term. Our newton raphson method then is theta n um, minus f of theta n. So f is um, 2 sine theta minus theta n. Over. 2 cos of theta n minus 1. So let's take... Okay then, so using our model, we find theta 2 by substituting in our value for theta 1. 
which is pi. Don't forget as well to put your calculator in radians. So we get pi minus, now 2 sine of pi is 0. So we get uh, minus minus pi over 2 cos of pi. Now cos of pi is minus 1. So we got minus 3 on the bottom. Now that, if we go to six decimal places so that they can't cry, is 2.094. Uh, 2.094395. Now, to get our value for theta 3, we put the value for theta 2 through Newton Raphson, and we should get to five decimal places 1.91322. Cool. Okay, then for part C, given that theta is 1.89549 to 5 decimal places, we want to find an estimate for the percentage error to our approximation found in part B. So, our approximation was bigger, it was 1.91322. So if we do 1.91322 divided by 1.89549, that gives us 1.0001. Nine three five. Now the increase bit is the part after the decimal. So if we multiply that by a hundred, we get zero point nine three five percent. Cool.